If your room stay junky, you just inviting negativity into your life. A junky room can affect your emotions. It can hinder your creativity and manifestations and it attract evil spirits. So go ahead and get up and clean up and cleanse your house so you don't have to deal with none of these problems. A clean house makes you feel happy. It brings clarity and creativity and it removes negative spirits. So go on ahead and get up and clean up. And also use scents like lavender or frankincense to bring a nice soothing energy into your home. And clean up that damn room. Yo, 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 what up YouTube? Welcome to Sin Take, man. My name is Jay Sin. Coming back with another one. And as y'all can see, we coming live from the Rose Garden, man. Take a look at it. Take a look at it, man. We got another beautiful day out here, man. So y'all already know. I gotta thank the Most High for waking me up this morning and giving me another opportunity to be great. And I wanna send a big shout out to my brother and my ancestors that's up there looking out for your boy. I love y'all. Love y'all. Look at that. Look at that. You know what I mean? Clear blue. Where that helicopter at? Over there. Yeah, we out here, man. You know, let me get y'all a shot of the backdrop. Y'all know where we at? Y'all know where we at, man. But, man, listen, I just wanted to come out here and holler at y'all real fast. So y'all that clip from Arcades Can See, man. Shout out to Arcades Can See. You know, go follow him on TikTok, man. He always dropping them spiritual gems. You know what I mean? With info that a lot of people probably don't even think about. You know, but we got to consider everything. You know, when we on this journey, we got to consider everything when we trying to elevate. We got to consider everything when it come to our spirits. We got to consider everything when it come to our vibration, bro, because it all counts. That's why I be trying to tell y'all everything is spiritual. So definitely, you know, you want to you want to clean everything up, bro. You know, you got to you got to do that, man. There ain't no if, ands or buts about it. I can't even function in a messy environment and he right about that you know when it come to your creativity when it come to your spirit when it come to your mood man listen bro you gotta you gotta make sure your not only your mind clean but your crib clean your car clean you know all of that man because that's what's gonna clean your spirit why you think i fast bro you know what a lot of people don't understand about fasting is that you know when you do that you know, your body is getting rid of dead cells. You know, your body is getting rid of so many things that that's not needed in your gut. You know, your body is rid of a lot of a lot of stuff that's, you know, coming from food, you know, coming from our, you know, the things that we ingest in our mind, our spirit is 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 deeper than what y'all think. Than just, you know, you just, you know, not eating, bruh. You know, your body gets rid of a lot of stuff. Your mind gets rid of a lot of data that's not needed up there, man. You know, so, you know, that's why that's why in scripture they want to, you know, we are told to fast. That's law. That's law. And remember, when you fast and you starve in the flesh, bro, when you got to starve that flesh out, you got to put that mug in the chokehold like, hey, look, you're not about to control me. You're not about to control me because that's the problem right there. A lot of people are controlled by their flesh. So anytime they flesh tell them to do something, they're going to do it. Anytime they flesh feel a certain type of way, they're going to act that out. You know what I'm saying? And they just got no control over it. But you know, you know, flesh, you know, feeding the flesh is death. You know what I mean? Certainly. So you want to starve that mug out through fasting. So your body can get rid of all of that toxic stuff, all of that dead stuff, all of that negative stuff. And when you do that, bro, you invite in wisdom. You got to understand wisdom ain't going to want to be in your spirit. Wisdom ain't going to want to be in your mind. The Ruach is not going to want to, you know, live there if it's messy. You know what I'm saying? If you got thoughts up here that's just messy, you know, negative, toxic, you know what I'm saying? Demonic. You know, lustful. You know, wisdom can't wisdom can't thrive in that type of environment. You know what I'm saying? The ruach like clean souls, clean minds. You know what I mean? Clean habitations. So 
So that's why it's important for you to clean everything, man, because, you know, it's just like fasting, bruh. When you starve the flesh, and guess what? You invite in good energy. You invite in the Ruach. You invite in wisdom. You know what I'm saying? You invite in a clean spirit, you know? But when everything is messy in your life, when everything is messy in your environment, you know what I mean? When everything is all chaotic and shit, but you can't get nothing done. You can't get nothing done. You can't get your creative juices flowing. You can't come up with no good ideas. You can't stay focused. None of that. You know what I'm saying? Because guess what, bro? Them demons keeping you distracted. Them demons love unclean environments. The demons love messy ass places, bro. Why you think trap houses look the way they look? You know, why you think uh, when, 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 when people out here addicted and all of that shit, listen, bro, you go to their crib, crib be messy as fuck because it's demons that's living there. You know what I'm saying? That's one indication right there when you're dealing with these women, for real, for real. You know, start peeping how they car look. You know what I'm saying? You know, start peeping how they crib look. You know, you can't, you can't, you know what I mean? You ain't gonna wanna deal with no messy chick. In general, you know, vice versa. Even for y'all women, y'all ain't gonna wanna deal with no messy man. And you know, we like clean shit. Us men, you know, we like our shit clean. Even when I was in darkness, I still like my crib clean. I still like my car clean. I still kept myself clean, for real, for real. It was the inside of me that was messy. It was the inside of my mind that was messy. You know, so guess what? Had to get on this journey and start ditching all of that. Start dumping all of that out, you know? And now look at us, bruh. Why you think we on semen retention, bruh? Why you think we here, bruh? Because listen, we starve in the flesh. We choking that mug out. We choking that lust seeing out. Like, listen, you're not about to control my mind. You're not about to have this darkness in my spirit. You know what I'm saying? You're not about to have me out here lusting and chasing and just controlling me. You know what I'm saying? To where I'm not even myself. I can't even be a real man. And that's the crazy part about a lot of these mugs out here that's just out here just salivating over these women. You know what I'm saying? That's out here hypnotized by they, by these women, bro. They think that they really real men out here. They think that it's natural. Like, oh, it's natural. You know what I'm saying? Even to be looking at you like, hey, bro, you see that? You see that? You like, bro, I'm like, dog, man, come on, man. We Is we grown or what? Is we grown or what, bro? Mugs just don't get it, though. You know what I'm saying? Just still, just, uh, you know, but... You know, that's how society want us to be. They want us to be clowns out here, you know? And that's exactly when we, what we look like when we walking around thinking how we think, when we walking around doing all that gawking, all that simping, all that pedestalizing. Can't even stay focused in the gym. Can't even stay focused on your priorities. Can't even stay focused on your purpose, bruh. You know what I'm saying? That's because they unclean up here. That's because they unclean in here, bruh. You know what I'm saying? And the devil using the flesh to do it, using these women to do it, using lust to do it. And these women, they think they the shit while they doing it, not even realizing that they getting used by the devil. You get the devil just using you. <laughs> the devil using y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because guess what? If the, if, 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 if the devil can use the women and they know, you know, that we the ones that's out here like doing all of this lusting because... I mean, let's be honest, you know, it's mainly men that that these that, that darkness want to control. You know what I'm saying? Because men is in these high places. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, yo, if the, if the devil can use these women to keep us distracted, keep us lost, keep us away from who we are, then guess what? The devil going to use these. And, and these women just don't see it. They don't see it, bro. They getting played like puppets. You know, they doing all of this degrading they self all online. You know what I'm saying? They out here doing the most, not even realizing that they soul is in torment, not even realizing that the outcome ain't going to be good, not even realizing that the most high is watching, not even realizing that when Christ come back with that sword, he not going to play around with him. He not going to play with him. You know what I'm saying? Even read in Revelations that the, you know what I'm saying, that Christ said when He come back, you know, for these for these women, you know, that's out here, for these Jezebels, you know what I mean, for these harlots, you know, He got something, He got something, got something for them, 
And any man that any man that dipped into them, they gonna get hung by their low ends, bruh. I'm telling you, you think it's cool to be chasing these hoes, man. But when big brother come back, he ain't gonna be ain't gonna take it lightly on you. You know what I mean? Dipping in these hoes like that. Dipping in these harlots like that. Allowing yourself to get taken away from your light like that. Come on, man. Come on, man. We better than that. So, either way, man, it just it go, it go back to just cleaning up everything in your life. And that's what we're doing on this journey, bro. We cleaning up. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you even, if mugs, you know how the, how, how, how the term say when mugs out here being messy? Even if mugs out here being messy, I ain't messing with you. If you out here being messy, I ain't messing with you. You out here gossiping, backbiting, talking about people behind they back, talking about family behind they back, hating on everybody. Listen, you messy. You know what I mean? You out here, you know what I mean? You out here bearing false witness, bro. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's in the Ten Commandments. You shouldn't do that. You know? So when you bearing false witness, you say you saying things that ain't even true. You wasn't even there. You don't even know about this, but you spreading this around. See these motherfuckers unclean. They unclean, bro. And you gotta get away from. Them. Cause guess what? They gonna have you in the middle of that. You know, you letting they dirty ass in they house, bruh. See, what people don't understand is like, it's like, they like ticks. You know what I'm saying? They like ticks, man. You know, ticks, they jump, they jump around and all of that shit from person to person. So guess what? When you let these mugs in your crib, that's demons. The ticks that's on them is demons, bruh. So as soon as you let them in your crib, what the ticks do? They gonna fall off. What them demons do? They gonna, oh, they gonna empty out right in your house. You know what I'm saying? Now, look. Now your crib unclean. Now you got demonic spirits running around there. Now you don't know why you feel how you feel. You feel bad. You feel off. You know what I'm saying? You feel like you're not even really there. You know, you don't feel no peace. It ain't no peace. Like, damn, what the, what, why am I so antsy? Why do I feel so anxious? I usually don't feel like that in the comfort of my own crib. It's because you let a messy mug up in there. You let a, you let a messy mug up in your clean house. You know what I'm saying? You let a messy mug up in your clean spirits. You know, what, what you think that porn work like? You know what I'm saying? As soon as you get to looking at it, you know what I'm saying? You could even just visit the site and don't even do nothing, bruh. But still, though, you opened that door. You still, you opened that door. So now, look, them urges start hitting you even more. You opened that door, now them urges hitting you even more. You just was sneaking a peek. You know what I'm saying? You just was sneaking a peek. And now look, you let her in the crib, and now look, all them demons got released in your mind, in your spirit. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, no, nah, we can't allow that, man. So, you know, we just got to try our best to keep it clean out here. For real, for real. Try our best. You know what I'm saying? It ain't that hard, man. Clean your room up. Clean the living room up. Wash them dishes. You know, some people kitchen be all nasty like that. How, that's where you eat, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, that's the place where you eat. If you have, if you wanted anything clean in the crib, you know what I'm saying? It would be your kitchen. Because I ain't saying that's where you eat. That's where you cook. That's where you prepare the food. You know what I'm saying? So you do not want all that shit. It's just stuff everywhere, bro. Your room. Oh, that's where you rest at. Why would you want things all just everywhere in it? You know what I'm saying? Everything's all on the bed, bro. Y'all don't even know. Like I'm telling you, before I go, making your bed in the morning before you leave the house is literally life changing. Making your bed is life changing. That's how you get your day started. You know what I'm saying? That's how you stay focused. That's how you organize. You started your day off. You make sure your bed is made before you left. Everything clean, put in order for when you get home. But listen, bro, if you don't make your bed, right, and you don't clean up, you leave your crib all jacked up, bro. Listen, your whole day going to be like that. Your mind going to be like that. Your spirit going to be like that. You're going to be scatterbrained just like your room is, just like your crib is, just like your car is. So you might want to take this seriously, bruh, because demons like to dwell and thrive in unclean environments. But guess what? The Holy Spirit, the Ruach, wisdom will thrive, right? In a clean spirit, a clean room, a clean habitat, a clean mind, all right? And that's my word, man. My name is Jason, the Sin Take. Holla at y'all later, man. Peace.